Welcome back to our podcast. Um, this is episode number two. Um, thank you so much uh, for all your kind words and comments. And we were a bit um, yeah, blown away. Blown away. Really, I think really blown away. No, none of us expected um, that we would have, I don't know, 400 uh, subscribers after our first episode. And uh, yeah, so we thought. Let's not wait too long before we record again. So I think today is Saturday, 30th of September. And um, so I think what we're going to do today, because we probably don't have much knitting, or I, at least I don't have much knitting um, since uh, last, the last episode, which was two weeks ago. So I think we're going to go over a little bit of our knitting, our uh, buys. Yes. And also we thought it would be good um, to do a special uh, Zoom <laughs> on our on one of our favorite um, <laughs> designers, designers uh, because it's going to be MCAL season in a few days. So I think we're going to... So excited. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to talk about of... Uh, a, bit, a bit about what we've knit uh, by Stephen West. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna start with a little recap of Knit Eat um, because last weekend I went um, to Lyon for the Knit Eat and Co festival. Um, I was uh, vending on the La Bien Aimée booth. Um, with Amy and Julien and my colleague Anne. Um, we had a really great time. It was super busy. The weather was beautiful. Um, so it was a little bit of a, a whirlwind. And on the Saturday, um, the whole festival was just packed. So many people came. It was so much fun. Um, I didn't have time to go to any other booths. Um, some of my colleagues had given me also shopping lists if I could, um, if I was able um, to go and get uh, some things for them, which I wasn't. On the Sunday, it was more quiet like Sundays always are. Um, but still, we had, you know, pe people and were busy uh, most of the time. So... Uh, 30 minutes before the, um, the closing time, I um, went um, to panic buy a few <laughs> things <laughs> because I really, really wanted to visit um, a couple of booths. Um, the first one was Maison Corlaine. Um, she's a French dyer from Brittany, Aurore, and she just dyes beautiful yarns and she has beautiful bases um we've worked with her um on amy's book and so i was just really excited to go and see her and i bought two skeins um this is her whoops her bakewell um base i think and it's um non-superwash bfl and white masam or masham i'm not sure uh, base and she does a gray base and a white base um, and so that's the same it's the same color it's a light pink called Louise on the white and on the gray base um, it's super soft yeah, I think just show the gray base yeah. on its own because I think it was a bit in the shadows okay yeah it's super super soft and I've been wanting to knit the street hat by Marie Regnier, uh, which was in Amy's book, uh, Neons and Neutrals. Um, so I really wanted um, a gray a gray base. And uh, when I saw the white base, I just knew I wanted to, I wanted to play with those. And I still think, I think maybe they both will become a string hat. Um, I mean, and I would like to make one with the gray base and one with the white base and, um, couple them with different yarns I mean let's face it um, it would probably be all pink but um, 
yeah i'm super excited um i love knitting hats i love this tree hat because you get to mix uh, natural woolly wool with uh, singles and a mohair uh, in different colors um so yeah i'm really excited to it feels rustic but it's very soft very very well. soft yeah. and, and the, yeah. the white one is super soft as yeah. well so i'm just super super glad um i was able to snag a couple of skeins even though it was the sunday and the end of the day and i'm sure like most vendors she had sold a lot um but i'm super happy i was able to find uh what i was looking for so if you don't know maison corlaine i highly highly recommend um to go check her out she has just a beautiful aesthetic um and just really great yarn so that's my my first um purchase i also went to um <laughs> not <Yam> the same <laughs> <laughs> a bit different not a plastic <laughs> i would say um that's also a french dyer called yarn by simon um i really love her virginie she's just she's a great person um a really really cool dyer mm -hmm. Um, she does uh, semi-solids uh, in super rich, vibrant colors. She um, does a black one, which yeah. is completely black, which is yeah. very hard to find uh, when you're hand talking dyed. about hand dyed. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, she was doing this um, kit in collaboration with um, a French designer called Aurélie Lapoule for a vest. This is a DK weight mohair um so i got i got the kit in this ultra violet it looks like our uh Bleu royal color that we do at la bien aimé which i love mm. um it's really deep um mm. it definitely has um lots of purple in it um uh, but it's just this really rich royal blue mm. i'm not sure i'm gonna do the um, i'm not sure i'm gonna use it for the pattern it's meant for because I don't really see myself wearing um, mm, that kind of that vest. kind of vest. It's just it's not really my style, but I love that it comes. It comes. The kit has the patterns. It also has. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to find it in here. So it has the pattern and I think inside the buttons, it also comes with a little tag that you saw oh, in the back that says poulette, which means chick. <laughs> um in french and you know that's a term you would call uh your friend salut poulette mm -hmm. um so i thought it was just really cute and the buttons are really good too <laughs> the buttons are really nice as well uh big purple buttons um i think you're a bit in the shadows maybe mm. anyway um i'll see what i use it for um i really I'm just a mohair lover and a thick mohair is even better in my book. I think maybe I would do um, just a simple sweater, maybe a lento with a strand of uh, Felix in Bleu Royal and this thick mohair I think would just be super lovely. So that might be my plan. We'll see. I just could, could not pass this yarn up. So I'm very, very excited about it. And then I went also to visit um, this shop called Lily Come To. Um, she is just in France. She's the notions queen, I would say. We all order all our needles, all our notions from her. She has a really great website. Um, yeah, it's an online um an online shop lily come to yes, we put um, um all the information in the in the links um in the, the show notes in the show notes below but uh, uh she, i was super happy to see she was vending there um and she had a great booth with lo lots of stuff she always has a great selection yes she has all the good needles the shell goose and everything and she has uh, also usually very cool um how do you say your project red? bags oh um, um tape measures yeah tape measures and um oh can't find my words today mm -hmm. um notions marker. notions mm. stitch markers, stitch markers notions. And everything. Yeah. yeah so um I, I went a little bit overboard but i i've really been um looking online for pink needles <laughs> 
and um, because you know even though I have so many pairs of Xiaogu needles interchangeables and fixed and um, I have so many projects that I can never find the needle size <laughs> that I need so um, I went and I was like do you have pink needles and she said I have a couple so she showed me Adi has this new line called uh, unicorns mm -hmm. and they're um, textured um, needles with a pink cord they were very cute but I have to say I'm not a fan of textured needles mm. for me I think it affects my gauge or something I don't enjoy using those but she then showed me those so there so that's a uh, set I by. think we're gonna just do a small uh, note because I'm really sorry our neighbors are doing works in their apartment upstairs so you might hear a bit of banging in the background um, but it's not, I don't think it's that obvious, so I think we're just gonna keep going. Otherwise, I'm not sure when we're gonna have time to record another episode. So, sorry about that, if you can hear it. So, yeah, I got um, a set of liquor needles, and they are <laughs> very, very pretty. Um, so, they are copper and look like rose gold. Um, I have to say I haven't tried them yet because I haven't cast on anything new um, but I, I'm super super excited about them they, yeah they just look mm. super pretty yeah oh my gosh mm. and uh, you know I think I can speak for every knitter out there when I say always um, happy to buy new needles <laughs> always <laughs> need new needles yeah um, and so yeah really excited about those so i've got quite a, a pretty haul mm. from nitita i would say very and, nice uh, very nice yeah mm. uh so that's it that's my haul mm. uh and uh i had a i had a great time like every year um it's a very cool french festival yeah, if, if you're looking for a good festival to go to in france um the knit eat is very good and Lyon is a is a good place to visit too, I think. Yeah, Lyon is a super nice place. Um, I went last year. Well, you go every year to vend at the La Bien Aimée booth, but I went last year with one of my friends and we just took a day trip, a mm. uh, re return trip. Because it's just and, two and hours by train from Paris, yes. so it's pretty easy to go uh, just for the day. Mm. Um, but it is really worth staying for the weekend at least because Lyon is a really beautiful old city mm. in France and it's really well known for its uh, cuisine mm. um, and there's so many great restaurants we we went to an amazing restaurant um, that was a great experience mm. um, and yeah so uh, it's definitely worth a trip Lyon was super busy because right now the right. Rugby World Cup is on and there was a match there was in a Lyon yeah. that weekend so there were rugby fans <laughs> everywhere <laughs> especially at the train station <laughs> um, yeah so it was fun and busy yeah so yeah. that's it um, I just wanted to share so the only I've been knitting a little bit for work I just finished a, a new Bandana uh, by Amy in our brand new base that came out yesterday, Volute. Mm. It's a cashmere merino base. It is just so gorgeous. Um, and so we all knit uh, samples and swatches. So over the weekend in Lyon, uh, we knit lots of uh, little swatches of every color. Um, and then I knit a, a bandana in Volute. So that was most of my knitting for the past two weeks but I have been uh, knitting a little bit on my Sela because today is the last day of the Sela cal. Mm. So Sela is a pattern by Yona Hietala of Len Magazine. Um, I started my Sela about a month into the cal so I haven't finished it yet but I'm pretty much halfway through I would say um and i'm just enjoying it so much uh, this is i'm knitting it in um merino boucle by la bien aimée uh, and that's in the colorway fluoro morganite i'm holding it double with felix by la bien aimée in fluoro morganite as well um it's just a really cool 
a really cool mm. pattern. I love this base. The simple it's, pattern. Yeah, yeah, this base has so much texture. Mm. It's a hundred percent merino, so it's super soft. It has no nylon at all in it. Um, and the sweater is knit on a six millimeter needle, which makes it go super fast. Um, I just haven't had lots of time to knit on it, but I'm. That's what I've been trying to focus on recently. Um, but then. Next week, we cast on for the West Knits Mystery Cal, which is going to be so much fun, I'm sure. Um, I try to do it every year, but then sometimes I don't. Mm. I have to. So we decided because the MCAL is starting and we've been such huge fans of Stephen West for such a long time. We've, we've knit so many of his patterns. Um, we thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a retrospective. Mm of uh, all our West Knits knits. Um, so that's, that's... And also of the um, different MCALs that yeah. um, happened. So I went back into my Ravel Ravelry project um, to try and work out what were the mystery cals that I, uh, that I actually knit. And I knit four of them um, during the mystery cal season. And I knit one of them out of the mystery cal season. So I think five is pretty good. I think it's about half. I think he started in 2013, uh, from what I could see uh, on Ravelry, I think. So it's probably the 10th or the 11th this year. 10th, I think I it's think? the 11th because he said one year he did two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... So if we go back um, chronologically, so last year was the twist and turns, which I did. And I'm really happy about my color choices. I think I talked about it in the yeah, last you episode. Show, you showed it, I showed uh, it so already. I'm not going to go too much in details. But like I said, it's Vintage La Bien Aimé with uh, Dire Wolf and uh, neon static for the white speckled and uh, minty for the green uh, which is a really really uh, pretty and vibrant green i think it looks a little bit blue yeah on i the think screen, it looks blue we'll on the see. screen but we'll see what it lo looks yeah. like on the video um it's not the most practical shawl to wear every day but i had fun knitting it which is the most important part mm -hmm. i think i also cast on last year for the twist and turns and I, I brought it out. Um, so this, I'm gonna show it. It's like my shame, mm. <laughs> my shame project. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I'm really sorry. I How did, much I, did you? I did not like this <laughs> pattern. You didn't even make the first clue. No, no because I did not like oh, the first clue. Um, the braids, I did, yeah. I, did not like this braid um, and I really didn't go very far because um, pretty quickly on I realized I would not enjoy this knit I did not like where it was going and so I um, abandoned it um, but I have some very pretty yarn mm, that you can uh, use for another it. project so I I used La Bien Aimé Merino Super Sock. This is mm. um, the Flying Knitter. And this is Anemone. Mm. Um, I had also decided to pair it with Mohair. So I, I got the same colors in Mohair to double it. Um, and so, so yeah, it hasn't seen much action <laughs> since, <laughs> since the, the cast on. Um, but I think this, one wasn't, gonna, yeah, it, this it one wasn't just, for you. Yeah, this one wasn't for you. It just wasn't for me. And when I don't like something, I have no problem just leaving it, frogging it, or abandoning it. I think I'm just gonna, you know, cut the yarn, put this away. And so for this year, I decided I would really love um, to use the yarn um, I got for uh, Twist and Turns for this year. So I'm still in the process of deciding my colors. So I don't have my colors for this year yet. But I'm going to try and use, mm, these two. if not both, at least one of them. Mm, mm, mm. This week with my colleagues, we uh, brainstormed 
ideas to make a beautiful gradient. So obviously these are two uh, purples. Yeah, because this here, it's gonna be geo gradient, like mm -hmm. he said, like Steven said. And it's four and stains it's... in a gradient of four colors. Mm. And he, he recommends using solid colors mm -hmm. in a gradient, which I'm not gonna do, but... Um, but you, I, yeah. you see how these are gonna be yeah. perfect, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, my colleagues gave me ideas and I have other ideas. I will see, I made a poll in my Instagram stories mm. and we and came up. Obviously I voted for the purple fade. <laughs> But um, I came up with an option, I mean, my colleague Amanda came up with an option with, which starts with a neon pink and then fades into dark purple. Mm. And that won the poll by a landslide. Like 66% uh, of people voted for that option. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with that. Um, I haven't gotten my yarn yet, but I have until Thursday, so that that's gonna happen so i'm really excited to to cast on next week no oh, i thought i brought my yarn choices uh, for them you did show them last time no you did not bring them I'm going into my stash again and so gonna just put up my do right. So I absolutely wanted to use at least these two from Ushitita which I bought in Barcelona Net Festival last year. It's a deep deep teal um, called Frequency. And this one, um, a, which is called Buy Me Flowers. I love these two together. At first I thought I would knit a striped uh, shawl or something with them, but then I thought if I paired them with a classic La Bien Aimé in We Rainbow on a Vespa, <laughs> which is incredible, I think, with these two. Yeah. It fits so well because it has those same tones yeah. in the in the speckles, the pink, the green. Uh, yeah, mm. it, it goes super well with them. And this one, which is um, work collection, work collection called uh, Grunge Pop, uh, in Cottage Merino, and I really really like it. It's a um, cream base with a lot of uh, green. So I, mean, I thought and, some yeah, pink and a bit of also. pink too. So I think I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I think I might wait a couple days um, to cast on, or even a few more days than you know uh, the official start because I'm going away on holidays next week, um, and so I don't think I'm gonna bring the four, uh, you know, the four skeins. Mm. Um, and I think I also want to see what the first clue looks like before <laughs> I really decide if I knit it or not. So, so it's gonna wait for me to get back a uh, week after next, I think. Okay. But I'm re I really, really love my color choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even though Stephen says to use um, semi-solids, mm. You can never go wrong with speckles. No. <laughs> and I'm pretty confident in my color choices. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so let's go back. So yeah. we, we did 2021 two. Now let's go back to 2021. Which was Sholography. Sholography. So last time I already showed my... Oh, mm. the but I didn't mine. show mine. Which is, I think, really, really cool. And oh, I think I it's one of the best... Uh, shawls I knit, I think. Uh, it was so much fun and I'm really so happy with my color choices. And, you know, when you start a mystery knit along, you can't, yeah, you don't really know what it's gonna be like and what it's gonna look like. But I think my color choices are really good with um, this shawl. So I think as long as you choose colors you love, yeah. you're not gonna be disappointed. Yeah. And I think I also... 
I also went with um, yarn from my stash. It's all La Bien Aimée, obviously. <laughs> um, there's. Uh, uh, oh no! In I the think border, you can see yeah, all the the, the purple. I think might be Madeleine Tosh, or is it Madeleine? Uh, I think it's Madeleine. Oh, it could be La Bien Aimée Madeleine, and then this one is Peach Pom. Is it Peach Pom Pom? Oui. Peach Pom Pom. Then uh, Fluoro Morganite. And then a vintage La Bien Aimée color, which I love, which Pop is... Grunge. Pop Grunge. But we still do it. Mm. Yeah. But I really love it. So... And you missed this oh. one. This, so it's a gray, purple, with speckles. Yeah. And what's it name? Is it Andromeda? Yeah, or it's Andromeda. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think... I did well with this one, I yes, think. Yeah, yeah. Really it's really, really stunning. I can't say I wear it a lot, but honestly... It's a huge shawl now. Yeah, it's a big shawl. And every time I've worn it, I had so my, many compliments, you know. Mm. Because, because of the different textures and yeah. It looks really complicated, but it was a really fun knit. Mm. It absolutely was. Mm. This is mine. I showed it last time. I only did, I think, the first three clues because I really did not like... Oh, the, the crisscrosses. The crisscross. I think mm. it's called the broomstick stitch. Um, I did not like it and I did not like the... Um, the border. The border. Well. I think it... I it took it does, forever. It I remember. Stunning, but, uh, yeah, I, I remember knew. that it it took forever yeah. this border to knit. I knew I would mm. run out of steam on it. Mm. Um, and so... Uh, yeah, I finished it. I mean, Emily knit me the eye cord this summer. Mm. She said, yeah, you, you started a different kind of border and I thought, mm. Mm, you're not going to do it because yeah. it's going to take too long. So I frogged part of it and I knit the eye cord bind off yeah. uh, so that you would have your shawl, but also not have it as a whip mm -hmm. for too long. Mm. I love the, I did all candy colors, which is a little more pastel than I, I usually go for but I think it came out looking really soft and sweet mm. yeah I think yeah. this one this shallography was a really good one yes yeah it was a really great one mm. so so going back I noticed that uh, the one I knit before that was in 2019 um, and it, oh do you want to no it that was no. not in the okay so the one I knit in 2019 was the Starflake. And I really, really love this pattern. I think I think to this day is it's one of my favorite patterns and I think I really want to knit it again. Um, because uh, I like the fact that it's only two colors. Um, so I used I used also yarn from my stash. I didn't buy a kit or anything. I used Madeleine Tosh for the um, peach uh, pink, I think. Um, I don't remember the the name of the of the colorway, but it's in my Ravelry notes. And the deep blue is uh, from Maison Corlaine, I think, which I bought a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I think I really, really loved knitting this. And I think it is really, really stunning. It's a stunning shawl and it, it's also quite easy to wear. Because of the shape? Because of the shape. Um, so yeah, I think I want to knit this again in different colors. Mm. I think I would like either yeah, a pink one or a yellow one. I think I would like a yellow and gray. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I really want to do this yeah. again. This one I did not knit. No? You didn't. I don't know why. I think you didn't no. like the the idea at first of the um, of the stars, but you know, I remember having a lot of fun knitting it. It's not as gigantic as uh, some other ones, so I think um, for this aspect, I like knitting it. Mm -hmm. And the other one I knit, and you knit you knit two. Yeah. yeah was in 2016, it was the building blocks. I don't have mine because I gifted it to a friend. I didn't 
I I made mine in Stashine and it was mostly blue and grays and it wasn't really my color so I gifted it to a friend who loved it. Yours is very pretty though. Yeah. It's pinks and purples with lots of speckles. Yeah. And it's all la bien aimé, I think. Mm -hmm. Um so I don't remember any of this. This one is the flying knitter. Yeah. The old version. Um, you also have um, Fury and this peach one is one we don't do anymore called Pandemonium mm. and this one I don't remember the It name. was my favorite color and then it was discontinued because it has uh, purples and uh, Greens. neon greens yeah. uh, so you know purple and greens are my colors I don't remember the name of this no either and then I had also a kind of uh, neutral beige in it isn't that fury there's a oh I think fury was the pinkish oh, yeah. thing no yeah it's this one yeah and so the beige one oh okay because this is beige in there mm -hmm. who knows <laughs> so that was 2016 so it was a long time ago seven mm -hmm. years ago and so that's the that's all for me that i knit during the mystery call. do you have any um no no the other ones i knit outside of the mystery mm. call and um my favorite one by far has been the me too. mount magic shawl <laughs> oh me too um but it's the one i wear the most in everyday life and so is yours i think yeah but uh i left my network ah. <laughs> so because i looked for it earlier and i thought shoot yeah <laughs> i left it at work because i also have a collection of handmaids at work and i forgot to check mm. yesterday before i i left so i don't have mine uh, but yeah, the Mount Magic shawl, I think for me, is by far like this section. my favorite shawl. Um, the shape is great to wear yeah. because it's not too deep, deep, it's not too big. I think you can also make it bigger, yeah. but this may be the small size. Yes, and probably. It's just so much fun to mount mm -hmm. lots of different colors to use all your leftovers you put some mohair i know i put some mohair in mine as well um i really want to make it again because i think just changing your colors slightly um will make it will make it completely different um and the fact that it's modular as well means your rows are not very long your sections change really quickly and so you just never get bored of knitting it um yeah yeah, this is, I think it's my, one of my favorite shawls by far. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's the one I wear the most. Definitely the shawl I wear the most in everyday life is this one. Um, and um, I think what I want to do this year is knit another one during the winter. Yeah. I have uh, put aside a choice of um, mauves, I think. Um, and yeah. So I hope I can make it during the winter. Mm. Yeah, me too. Um, although I think maybe I would want to maybe not make it out of stash mm. um, or leftovers, but just curate, um, mm. you know, just choose a bunch of different yarn bases um, that I can put together and just use maybe all, all pinks with speckles mm. or all neutral with slight pops or something, you mm. know, just to make it really coherent. Because mm. in my first one, I also used some um, really bright solids, which they don't look as good when they're mm. mount as uh, putting together light speckles mm. to get, or, you know, so I don't know. I really want to think about it and mm. select a, a, a palette for it mm. before knitting it. Um, there's another mystery shawl. Mm that I knit outside of the mystery, I think. And this is this one, the texture time. I, I'm not sure which year this was. Um, this came out 2018 or 19, I think, because I bought this 19 yarn. was the Starflake. So 2018, because I definitely bought this yarn at um, Edinburgh EYF. 2018. Yeah, I bought this yarn uh, at EYF. 
um, Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Uh, so I think it's on. Is it on Walk Collection? Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. It's on Walk Collection, except for the Melted Baby Suri here, which is by Ching Fiber. It's the Colorway Fox Glove, which is just so pretty. And uh, this one, I just love that syncopated brioche section in the middle. It is so stunning, so much fun to do. When you like to knit brioche, syncopated brioche is just so much fun. It's It looks incredible. Mm. It's not very complicated. Mm. I remember I just loved knitting this section mm -hmm. here. I did not love the Latvian braids mm. because these are so mm. uh, tangly. Mm. All your yarn gets twisted together. Um, I did not enjoy them. I definitely, you know plowed through but I did not enjoy them um, but I really think so this is just a huge mm. shawl mm. I have to admit I don't wear it very much because it is it is a schlanket so it is just too big for Paris winter it, it's too big for, for our Parisian winters <laughs> to put over your coat or no. something no Paris doesn't get uh, cold enough in the winter mm. to wear such but you a, might wear a big it shawl. at home yeah. on your shoulders and i love that mm. behind uh, mm. we did the little squiggles <laughs> <laughs> instead of weaving the ends i loved doing those mm. um they are they were so much fun to make oh my gosh such a so creative such an inventive way um steven yeah what can he come up with next? That was Steven. Mm. So this is just, I think I definitely enjoyed knitting this for the process more mm. than the finished object. But the, the result is stunning, stunning, um, really stunning. I have to say I don't wear it, but I just love having it. And I love making it. Uh oh, the cat is coming <laughs> into the picture. No. So anyway, that's one of the MCALs that I knit just because I loved it. And to go outside of the MCALs, I think Julia and I and, and mine, you know, our favorite shawl ever, I think, from Stephen West has to be the Fantastic. Oh, it's backwards. Fantastic. It yeah, it is all. It is the second most worn shawl behind the Mound Magic, I think. And I got the. Uh oh no, no. Basil! Descend, descend. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The cat is trying to. <laughs> trying Basil, to no. get in the picture. <laughs> so I got the kit from La Bien Aimée. I think, yeah. Uh, which was I think I got it for you for Christmas. Yeah, which is purple mauve and gray. Yeah, it was the purple kit. Yeah, I love it. Mine really, is really the, love it. The Julia bundle, because I, I I put it together and then I knit it. Um, so the thing about the Fantastic is it's all cashmerino and Kumo by La Bien Aimée. It's the softest it is thing just... ever so so soft and mm. just drapey and mm. light um and i think you use seven colors mm. is it i think maybe four cashmerino and three kumo mm. it is so much fun to put all those colors together mm. um and then choosing all I the different colors four, for the one, sections two, three four kumos ah, four i think kumo and three cashmerino then mm. um yeah what a fun shawl so much fun to knit Amazing and then the work. yeah the i think the result is just stunning stunning which is you know with steven you you get that it's easy to knit very easy to knit you never get bored because uh, you have different textures and you always learn something uh, but it's not difficult whether it's uh, slipped stitches or yeah it's always slipped stitches too when you do the v's and everything mm. Uh, textures, um, yeah. I think this I is the shawl I wore the most last winter. I yeah. wore this shawl all the time, even though I finished this 
two years ago or, or two and a half years ago three years ago it was in 2020 i yeah. knit mine in 2020 oh okay during during covid yeah but yeah. well, I, I still wear it loads and it's still in heavy rotation mm. um i had lots of leftovers <laughs> so i made the fantastic chat which was just so much fun oh my gosh it was so much fun to knit it looks really awesome <laughs> This one I knit last year. I love it so much. I mean, we can spot you from far away in the street when you wear it. <laughs> so, it's fun. Yeah, oh, it is very fun. I love it. So, yeah, that's my fantastic hat and fantastic shawl. Mm. I can be all matchy matchy in my fantastic mm -mm. outfit. Yeah. Yeah so 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 much fun to knit recommend a hundred percent Ooh, another really cool that's a vintage um steven west pattern the dotted yeah. race and i think we both used a very big kit and we also did, you know, the big version with the border. Chevron border. The chevron border, which is just incredible. <gasps> Look at mine. Oh, I love it so much. I think this has to be one of your best knits, I think. For the, you know, the color choices. And I think the border looks so stunning. <gasps> and this is also really vintage La Bien mm. because this one I knit before I started working mm. there. And I started in 2019, so it's been mm. four years. Mm. Um, so this one, I think I knit probably five years ago. I just made the giant size mm. with the huge chevron border. And I made it all in a purple fade. So up here is a gateway purple. And then I went into Le Petit Nuage. And then I went into Andromeda and then into PB and J, Peanut Butter and Jelly. Mm. And I used Electric Royale for the border. Electric Royale and Gateway Purple so I could achieve a really stripey mm. effect, mm. which I love. Mm -mm. Yeah, so the dotted rays is such a, such a simple pattern because mm. it's all garter stitch. It's a rows. very beginner friendly pattern. I remember yeah. I knit this when I started knitting, I think, or maybe when I was a bit of a confirmed knitter, like after a year or something, in all um, pinks in the hotness, which was very cool. And it mm. was the small version. And then a few years ago, I got a very nice fade kit from Hedgehog Fibers. Um, and I used it for this one. And I really, really love it. I have to say, I don't wear it a lot. Mm. I don't know why, because no, I great. really, really love it. I think I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna wash it again and block it. And take um, it out for this winter. Yeah, and take it out for this winter and for this fall. Because it looks so, so stunning, I think, um, in this uh, pink fade with a lot of uh, greens and uh, purples and blues and oranges and everything so yeah mm -hmm. i think i'm gonna rehabilitate it for this year mm -hmm. i also got um another shawl another stephen west shawl that i made this one i made at least five years ago mm. as well i think mm. maybe six even this one is the melted mirage mm. um and I did it all in chink fiber. Um, I used Melted Baby Suri for the, for the back, for the brioche part in the back. And in the front, I used, I don't know, different pinks that mm. I, I held double. Um, sing, I had, yeah, I held fingering weights double. And I really love the super hot pink weight I achieved. Um, yeah, this was such a fun knit. It's not a really big uh, shawl, but it's so cozy and super easy to wear as well. 
I've forgotten about this one mm. actually. Mm. Yeah, because you usually wear your cowl the yeah. most. Yeah. Yeah. I had a. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with. Um, melted baby suri. Melted baby mm. suri for brioche project. So mm. I also made the. What's the name of this pattern? Brioche chevron. Brioche brioche chevron. The brioche mm. chevron cowl. Mm. Yeah, I made the brioche chevron cowl. This is by far my most worn. Oh yes, this is the one you wear the most. Mm. It is so I just mount yeah. some uh, chink, chink fiber, fiber all the way as well. Mm. Yeah, and I went from pink to pink. like pink to hot pink, and then I put a little bit of yellow green and, green, and yeah. neon yellow. This is just the most the most cozy. Mm um cowl ever it's so soft with all the with the melted baby suri yes this is by far my favorite hand knit ever um i have yarn to make a second one because the green mm. part is yeah. not so much my choice yeah i, I think mean, it would colors. be yeah it would be better if you did an all pink one i think yeah because you can see that you probably didn't have enough yarn yeah. to make it all the way pink. I mean, I like this color when I bought it. I don't mm. remember what it's called, but mm. now when I wear it, I definitely always wear the pink part on top, which is fine. But also I was thinking of doing it. So this is a double loop. I would like to make this now like higher in single loop so I could just um, mm. fold it up on the inside mm. instead of uh, looping it mm. twice around my neck so I'm gonna modify the pattern in order to make it higher mm. and single loop just like like this so I could just wear it as a as a tube, as a tube yeah. um, and it's gonna be so so cozy uh, maybe I'll do Kumo Hell Double mm. by La Bien Aimée for the inside because mm. how soft it is mm. um, in my Julia colorway mm. that would be so much fun yeah um, just pink pink speckles. Uh, you can't go wrong, wrong with pink speckles. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's my favorite hand knit ever. Um, that I've worn the most. My favorite two knit the the project I've loved making the most was this one that I'm wearing right now, the penguono. So that's also a Stephen West pattern. It's a little jacket. I don't know because I'm sitting very close to the screen, but um, so you can't really see it so well. Um, yeah. The Benguono. It's this mostly was... La Bien Aimé, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's lots of, it's mm. La Bien Aimé and Hedgehog fibers because mm. this color here is Hedgehog. Um, I had... I did one strand of a speckled fingering weight, one strand of drops alpaca mm. in, um, white. in white, and one strand of drops mohair in white as well. So it's super soft. Um, and uh, yeah, I really love it. This was the most fun project to knit ever. Just so, so, so much fun. I, I knitted during a summer seven years ago maybe or mm. something um it was a heat wave mm. it was 40 degrees and i was knitting this huge project with alpaca and mohair <laughs> <laughs> it was i was just so hot knitting this but i could not stop knitting it and i think it took me two and a half weeks to knit or something i just love knitting it i have to say if i did it again today i would choose different colors mm. Because I think some of these clash a little bit. Um, and it's definitely not my most worn mm. object because it's a really warm jacket, but it has short sleeves. <laughs> I mean, you know, I do love the, the fit of it and the shape. Yeah. But you might do longer sleeves for winter in maybe a different color. I think mm. it would be stunning in like gray and pink mostly. Uh, more co cohesive, Maybe. I've I seen think. some yeah. people do long sleeves and I did not like it. Oh, I, really? I don't think it looks very good. 
but just for the fun of knitting it mm -hmm. and now sometimes I wear it at home and you know I just this has been this is the most fun project ever if you you if you lose your mojo and just want to knit something for the fun of it knit a penguin or it is so 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 much fun I just I, I, I dream of making another one and I, I will knit another one one day I just love it so much and now that I'm wearing it it's so comfortable oh my gosh anyway so penguin or by Stephen West yeah I think the last the last uh, Stephen West shawl I want to show is um this one the lava lake it's a very simple project but i think yes. so i used all stash yarn uh, and it's probably not my favorite um colors, colors uh, color palettes because i'm not really a fan of um of um, it's a bit brown yeah it's a bit brown and i don't really brown like and brown beige. yeah but it was i loved lit knitting it um and the i think is really the cool. shape is really cool it's a long triangle yeah with it's eyelets. a long triangle with eyelets and um i think triangular shawls are probably the ones i wear the most and the most easily um especially in fall if you have an open jacket uh, but you're still you know it's chilly and everything i think having a triangular shawl that you can uh, put over your your chest and everything um so i tend is, to wear it a lot is that I think. a four or five color fade um i don't remember i think it's five colors yeah but i think you can also a bit um you know do do as you like i yeah, have of course. one two three, three four yes, yeah colors. i have five colors yeah that's a really good option for a big fade yeah actually yeah and it's not a very, I, I mean, I don't think it's a very popular West Knits pattern. Yeah, but it's weird also because you start from one point to the other. Yeah. So you never have like 700 stitches. Only in the middle, but then you quickly get to the other side. Um, so yeah, I like, it's yeah. Not, it's not so many stitches. No, it's, it's not so it's many. It's quite stitches. deep. But it's yeah, not... it's deep because I have a loose gauge and it's been blocked, but otherwise, you know. It's, it's deep, but it's not long. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's a, it's a good option and it's an overlooked, in my opinion, mm. overlooked West Knits pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, Lava Lake. Mm. Um, and lastly, our last project Oh, I need to get mine now. Oh. Yeah, I left it. Parachute! It's a top. It's a top. This is mine. Yours is really gorgeous. I'm not such a fan of mine. Because you didn't use so many colors. No, I used only two colors. Um, and I can't say that I'm a very big fan of my color choices. Mm. Um, it's too sad. It's too dark. Yeah, it, it's a bit dark. I don't know why. And I thought, you know, you but the whole back in the gray. Yeah, because I thought I'm gonna need something very classic, uh, so that I can wear it uh, every day. But it's not fun. It's nice, but it's not fun. I think. No, it's. I used. A full skein of this pink here, which is La Bien Aimée Pinku Graffiti. One of my favorite colors. And then for the rest, I used all leftovers. So there's some peanut butter and jelly. There's some peach here. Um, and then in the back, I did a sort mm. of fade. So, and it is stunning. And I started with stripes. And then I did some fading and color blocking at the bottom i really love love it and then i did the whole eye cords around in a dark dark gray a charcoal mm -hmm. which is called ash by la bien aimé as well and uh, this is a really fun such a fun pattern to mm -hmm. knit as well because you knit it sideways mm -hmm. and then you knit the back and you you just uh, join it on the sides I and it grows a lot so it yeah. gets like a tunic yeah tunic style. which is super fun to wear you can just wear it with a um, black tank top mm. and leggings pretty much and it's light because it's fingering mm. um yeah sometimes i wear mine for work in the winter with a long sleeve black tee mm. and black jeans 
it's just so much fun um, and you can pretty much you know um, do it as you you can uh, really easily customize mm. it yeah um, I remember one and of I, my yeah. old colleagues did a short one mm. um, with lots of mohair mm. um, and in a really dense gauge mm. so that it was super warm um, and she would wear it just over dresses and stuff. Mm. And yeah, I think it it's the cute. kind of pattern that can suit everyone. Yeah, because um, you can make it so many different ways. Yeah, super oversized, not too oversized. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think you can tell we're pretty big Stephen West fans. Yeah. Um, we've knit lots of his patterns. Um, definitely, Penguono was my most um, fun project to knit. Um, the Brioche of Roncaul is my most worn um, hand knit ever. Yeah, for me it's the Mount Magic shawl, mm -hmm. but I think the prettiest one I've knit has to be the Fantastic. Mm -hmm. mm. This one I think, La Bien-Aimée did well in putting together this kit, I think, because it had my name written all over it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... I'm going to try to make up my mind about my colors before Thursday, cast on day. Yeah, Thursday um, is cast on day. Because I always, mm. I always get excited to cast on at the same time as everyone else yeah. and to discover Steven's videos. Me too, um, usually. I really want yeah. to get into it once again this year. I hope I get past clue one <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> That's my objective. My goal is to knit the whole thing this year. Um, but, you know, if I don't like it, I won't force myself. Um, yeah, like but... you did last year. I like to... Once I start it, I think I want to... I want to power through and, and do it. And try to, to you, know, you know, respect that timing, uh, which is usually a lot of knitting in a week. And then you get the other clue. And I usually ha end up, you know, I, you, I usually do the first clue in the first week, but then the second clue is bigger. Yeah. And so I don't finish it yeah. in the second week. And so I need a few more days to finish the second clue. And then I get, yeah, you I don't get, stop the third clue no, at, the at the same, same time, time as everyone, but it's fine. It's I fine. I like casting on at the same time as everyone. Mm. And then I like discovering each clue week by week, even if I get... Mm you know, behind on the rhythm because I, I usually don't have enough time to knit mm. the whole clue in one week anyway, but I really like discovering what it's going to look like and reading what everyone says about mm. it. <laughs> but I like to, to, you know, I like to spoil myself. <laughs> Me too. And, I always yeah. watch the whole, because um, Stephen always videos. releases, oh, yes, yes. Um, each week he releases a video and at the end of the video you can see mm. what the whole clue looks like. I, I always, always fast yeah, forward I mean, to the end. No, me, I, I watch the whole, like. the whole video, even though I'm not there yet, <laughs> but I still watch the whole video because I like watching, you know, listening to what he says and learning all learn, the techniques. Yeah, learning he the always techniques. has some great techniques. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, also looking on Instagram, uh, what people are posting. Uh, I always spoil myself, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this year I'm not going to cast on at the same time as everyone else because I don't want to, you know, I'm going on holidays for a week. I don't want to bring four skeins that... You don't need the four skeins because you're going to knit one color one a week, I think. Really? I mean, that's... I don't know. That's what I understand of it. Oh, it's, yeah. It's but a gradient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four weeks. Four, four oh, okay. clues, four colors. Okay. That's what I Okay, am so thinking. I might look into it look you into might it and check yeah, if color yeah. A is the darkest or yeah. the lightest yeah. and bring that color so yeah, that you can yeah, I um, might I mean, do that, yeah. Stephen being Stephen, I, I think maybe he'll like have you mm. you know doing different things. I'm just thinking probably you start with color A and then you end with color D. Okay. 
but I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> I, I don't know anything about it, just so everyone knows. Mm. I have no information about this one, but that's just what I've been thinking. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe you'll want to still bring your first color just I'm, in case. Yeah, I might. Because it's always fun. Yeah. I thought for my holidays I would bring, uh, you know, I'm knitting a hat, which I which is a Stephen West hat. It's the Willy Waffle hat, and I'm having a lot of fun knitting it at the moment. And so this is the textured part here and now i'm doing the inside uh, in um, pinko graffiti yeah. in la bien aimé and this is magellan and clowns in la bien aimé too and um, yeah at the moment i have a lot of work so i don't have a lot of knitting time but so i knit this usually on the subway um, and i still manage to do a bit of progress so i'm gonna take this also i i'm going to the south of france so i have a lot of train time going there so i'm gonna try to finish this hat i have a pair of socks that i'm knitting also also in la bien aimée um which i'm gonna try to finish as well um it's uh it's really really cool i think it's fluoromanganite for the calves and then it's a color Fisalia. called Fisalia. Um, oh, I and I, yeah, I'm gonna just knit a tu tube and then um, cut, in the, cut in the heel, which is not my preferred uh, heel method, but um, yeah, I'm just, I thought, no, no sweat. You know what? Mm. Um, I used to be all heel flap, yeah, all about that. But then I discovered, is it in the, you know, it's in the Jody Brown sock, yeah, the Garter Ridge, I think. No, what Jasper Ridge sock? Mm. Um, she does um, cut in here, an afterthought here, mm. but she adds extra yeah. rows before you start decreasing, mm. Mm. so that this adds um, a depth. Yeah, more depth mm. to the heel. And I find that these fit me so well. Mm. These are my my favorite mm. um, shape of heel now. Um, so yeah, that's I what I'm gonna use do. Those, yeah. The, yeah. the afterthought heel from the Gaunter Ridge, Jasper Ridge socks by Jody Brown. Yeah, that's what favorite I'm gonna heel. do. Yeah. yeah, and then I'm also gonna bring my Marley pullover, which I started knitting uh, in July. And it hasn't seen a lot of progress because I'm still on the raglan. <laughs> but I've knit most it's of fine. the raglan, but you know, yeah. It's what it is. It's what it is. But I'm gonna bring it. The sweater and is the perfect vacation knitting. Yeah. Just go round and round and round. Yeah. You'll get to split the four, four sleeves and body, and then you can just knit the body. Yeah. So it's, it's perfect. Yeah. And so I'm going to look into the mystery cal and see if I can just bring one skein with me, then I'm going to do it. And so that if I get, you know, the, the FOMO, the, the MCAL FOMO I mean, on Thursday. I, I would get the MCAL FOMO. Yeah. So that's and why I see I... on Instagram, everyone casting on and yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to wait until next week to cast on. And then I'm going to have a week's delay. So no. Yeah. No. No, no, no. So, like, I do that. I bring it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's just one thing, one last thing I wanted to say. Um, I just saw that Suzanne Zommer, oh, yeah. so Sue Nitz, just released a, a new pattern called the Baseline Cardigan. Mm. I just, I saw her post on Instagram and I bought it immediately. Oh, you bought it already? Yes, oh, already. Cool. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed with it. So obsessed. I just love, love, love it. And she made a version in just one color. She used uh, Cori Confetti by mm -hmm. La Bien Aimée in Amy's Peach Sweater. And Which I we have, both have. Yeah, yeah, we both have some. I have some of that st set aside. I've had it for a really long time. I love her version. The V-neck. So she did Amy's Peach Sweater, and then the accent color is Cori Worsted in Floral Morganite. I think I want to do these two colors, but the striped mm. version in these two colors. Because she did a striped version, but it's gray on gray. That's just mm. that's just not me. I love the, the v-neck of the other version. 
um, and I want mm. to do the stripes like this. I think I think I want to do exactly the same as this one or at least I want to do the Amy's peach sweater because I have I think five skeins that I bought when it came out and I might think about the accent color a bit more I might do a yellow or a so you dark maybe not gray. have leftovers I might have some less leftovers, but I'm not sure because I how think much I, I would also do the ribbing in the fluoro organic. Yeah, that's what I was the, thinking. The, at least the color, maybe not the bottom. I don't know, but I yeah, I think it needs more fluoro organic in there. But this is just so stunning. Yeah. So I'm thinking I haven't finished any whips, um, but I think I'm gonna cast on. The mystery can and i'm gonna cast on this one very very soon yeah but i also wanted to cast on um nadia Cretolation's newest um neon snow neon snow sweater uh from so her name on instagram and ravelry is ncl knits uh, she's a Swiss designer and she was she came with you at um, Nettie yeah, Lyon. Yeah, she comes with us to Nettie every year. And she's a wonderful designer. She's wonderful. also a wonderful person, let's say it. Yes, she's um, the best. I've tested a few of her patterns uh, and I really, really love this one. And so I found yeah, some yarn in test, my stash. You didn't test knit this no, one. No, which you should have. I should have. But um, I don't want to commit at the moment for test knits. It's a really great color work sweater, mm. and she did color work, but not a round yoke. She did a raglan, yeah, so that it fits really well. She's just ah, so great. So she did this one in Sport Nouveau by La Bien Aimée, mm. um, and, and I happen to have a sweater quantity in Sport Weight in uh, Vespa Graffiti in, in Merino Sport. In Merino Sport, so you know. I really, really want to knit this one as well, but will I, I have time to do the... Finish the raglan of your Marley, and yeah. then you can cast on another raglan sweater, says the person who has 20 whips. Mm. Mosquito. So anyway, mm. um, yeah, that was a really long episode. I hope you guys liked it. It was just so amazing to receive so many messages from everyone. Mm. Um, we and really so many positive comments, you know, we've been wanting to do a podcast for a very long time. Uh, we really enjoy watching podcasts, which we usually do um, on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings. We watch knitting podcasts and do a bit of knitting and, drink um, coffee. and drinking coffee or tea before we actually, you know, go, go about our day with, uh, you know, the rest of the usual chores. But um yeah we were thinking about it for a very long time and then i think we kind of like we waited too long and thought nah we're not gonna do it but then the other day we talked about it and thought yeah let's try it and we were just blown away by your comments and uh, your reception so mm. i think our first episode has over a thousand five hundred views which yeah, is I think incredible so. yeah um and so we're I think just... it might be the twin thing that people like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and also the fact that the grocery girls gave us a shout yeah. out on Instagram. Mm -mm. That was amazing. Um, and uh, We've been watching them ever since they started, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I remember their first episode, literally. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, anyway, um, we have lots of ideas for new episodes on different themes we definitely have enough um to make a full andrea mari yeah. <laughs> episode like the one we might we, just we, we might do two andrea mari episodes i think one with the shorts one with the sweaters <laughs> i have to say <laughs> yeah lots and lots of andrea mari mm. um a few Jorge Locatelli also mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, so, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, we definitely have lots of ideas. And for we, we're going to try to keep doing this. Hopefully you guys um, mm. enjoy. Yeah, uh, I thought we might try to do it once a month. But then 
your reception was so nice that we thought let's Which, not wait for yeah, a month it made us want to yeah. do another one we didn't straight away. i didn't knit much in the last two weeks but you know who cares we have enough in the we have enough shawls and sweaters and everything to do a few episodes i think mm -hmm. enough hand knits and enough whips mm -hmm. <laughs> and enough <laughs> yarn to yeah. enough yarn too in our stash mm -hmm. yeah so that's it um thank you everyone um please comment um because it's so great ev uh, in the evening we read each other your lovely comments um it's just so heartwarming yeah. and yeah 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 and yeah it i think it may yeah it made us think you know let's do it more regularly mm -hmm. and uh, get to this time um to get our knits out and yeah uh, share them out with on you. knitting yeah with you guys mm. so thank you everyone and see you soon bye bye